position of this blockade. The car will now move into position to assist the fire in the breach of point. On initially moving into position, for the craft to line up to conduct a winch, protection will be provided by the warrior crew. However, to assist in connecting the two vehicles, both crews will be involved in that process. Craven Warrior report back to headquarters that they're now getting into position to recover the Warrior. The headquarters decides that because it's so close to the insurgents position that they will send out some extra support to provide protection and they deploy a Simter 2. displayed here, the uh, Krav is now completing a winch with the Warrior 510. The winch itself is a 51 tonne main winch. It also has a 3 tonne auxiliary winch which can be used to provide assistance when moving tools. The hell? As you'll also notice on the roof, there's a crane. And this is clearly used for removing power pack engines from the Challenger. The crane itself as a maximum lifting capability of 7.5 tons. And as you can see demonstrated now, the dozer blade is deployed to provide resistance while conducting a pull. All the time, the cover provided by CBC and by the warrior are reporting back about the, ins the insurgent's position. While the tonnage the uh, wind is actually performed, the scimitar now destroys and kills the enemy which were received by headquarters have allowed them to decisively decide whether to deploy extra assets and on this occasion has ensured that the actual pull has done safely.
The Challenger armoured repair and recovery vehicle that you see today may well have gone out on the route patrol with the leading elements. While it moves along the route, it will provide assistance should anything either break or require some form of recovery. But what it will also do is look for areas that can be used as repair locations should it be required to remove a vehicle back from an enemy location. Craft came into service in the late 1980s to support Challenger. It has a crew of three with a driver, commander and radio operator with two seats in the back for the crew of a towed vehicle. It weighs in excess of 80 tonnes with the additional armour. It has a 26 litre V12 engine and a fuel capacity of 1,532 litres and a range of up to 500 kilometres. Its only armament is one 762 machine gun, so while carrying out recovery, it requires other protection, which may well come from the vehicle that's being recovered. The craft can also pull a trailer, which will allow it to tow one Challenger engine or two Warrior engines. And a power pack for a Challenger weighs approximately 5.5 tonnes, which is about four family cars. It's also now used to support the T3 programme, which is Trojan, Titan and Terrier, which are vehicles used by the Royal Engineers. The dozer blade itself can be used for route denial or route clearance, and it's also used to pre provide reaction or resistance when towing or winching. The vehicle is also equipped with a Broco a plasma arc cutting torch, which allows it to cut track from stricken vehicles to allow them to move to half track or to move the vehicle on quickly. On receipt of orders from the headquarters, the craft is now told to move on the rest of its patrol and meet up with the warrior.